Hey guys, it's Sasha for NetworkNews.com and I finally can do uh, the unboxing of my new working horse. Yes, I'm going Japanese. It's a Sony. And it's not a average Sony. This is hopefully the notebook that's going to survive with me for the next two years. So this is a Sony Vario VPC Z12C7EB. Whoever is making up the product names over there at the Sony headquarter, good job. You know, it was kind of hard to... Uh, to learn that. Anyways, geez, I've got them excited about this because this is a crazy system. A 13.1 inch 1080p display and uh, actually that was the biggest IT investment I ever made. This is like two and a half thousand euros which is uh, roughly around 25,000 US dollars right now, right? We're <laughs> taking a look at the actual rate now. Should be like two and a half thousand to three thousand um, dollars. As you can tell, I'm kind of excited about this. Um, over here we have our installation DVD, quick start guide, warranty. Um, that looks like a catalog or something. Let's get rid of this. Oh, 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 oh. Later. Um, the PSU. Well, it's actually pretty big. And that's about it. No sleeve at all. Interesting. What's that? Okay, it's about uh, the 3G modem. It's an HS UPA. Just to give you a little idea about the specs, it comes with an Intel Core i7-620M. That's 2.66 gigahertz, 6 gigabyte of RAM, um, a quad SSD, 256 gigabyte. I think it has a read speed of over 400 megabytes a second and a write speed of over 400 megabytes a second. And it comes with a dedicated graphic card, NVIDIA GeForce GT 330M and a 1080p display. It means 1928, oh, 1920 by 1080. And now, here we go. So this is a carbon enclosure. And I think it's kind of carbon magnesium mix. Oh, whoa. Not sure if I'm gonna take this one to my bed tonight. Anyways, super fancy uh, keyboard, chiclet keyboard. Actually, that's quite some space in between the keys, right? And so uh, I definitely have to get used to it because if you compare this one to the Acer that I had before, and as you can see, it's kind of worn out. Um, that's it's gonna take a while for me for some two or three weeks until I'm getting used to this new keyboard. Hey, let's take a quick look around the system. Well, first of all, gosh, it's light. I would guess like 1.4 or 1. One, I would say like 1.4 kilograms. Let's start over here. Um, I think that's that's a connector for the PSU. Uh, then with Ethernet cable, HDMI, USB 2.0. That looks to me like a is that a PCM CIA slot? Oh, Express card slot? Express card 35. Oh, there you go. Another USB. I think it's 2.0. Or maybe 3.0. Or maybe 4.0. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I'm still excited as you can tell. Um, there is this Sony Magic Gate stuff. 4-in-1 card reader. The power switch is over here. And we have jacks for the headset and the microphone. And we have another USB here. This is a kind of multi-drive DVD or W, super duper, whatever. I think it can do anything besides Blu-ray. And it can fly. VGA out and the power button. Let's take a look on the back. Um, here we have a six cell battery. I'm not sure about the capacity. Actually, I'm not sure how to get it off. Oh, here we go. So, 57 watt hours. I think I read some reviews, it should last for some five to six hours. And you know what the funny thing is? I looked for a spare battery and it's like two or three hundred euros. So hopefully this lasts for a while. Um, I'm pretty sure that the SSD is underneath this little thing over here and besides that, I guess in general there is no need for me right now to upgrade this system. Um, oh, by the way, what about... Uh, here we go. Oh, there's even a little Vodafone SIM card in there. Interesting. 
That's interesting. Let's see uh, if that one works. Anyways, I really like it to have a device with a 3G module so I can block when I'm on the road. Oh, oh, oh. I like that. I'm, I'm so good at destroying things before they're even running for the first time. And actually... That's what just happened. Ooh, don't try that at home. Steve is laughing his ass off while he's filming right now. You know what? That's 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 kind of tricky here. <laughs> I love these unboxings. You know what? How about this? Stop laughing, Steve. I'm gonna upload it like this. Seriously, we are not editing this at all. Okay, Sony, whoever ever created this battery thing, I think I had like two or three hundred devices in my hand. I was changing batteries. <laughs> but I'm already failing with the battery over here. Okay, let's see. I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yay! I made it! I made it! Oh my goodness! And we're definitely not gonna delete this uh, this theme. Um, here we go. It's a kind of. It's not really a glossy display. They have a kind of surface that makes it. Well, I'm sorry, we are out of it right now. Steve is crying behind the camera, actually. But you know what? Let's get back to business. I know it's hard. <laughs> I think over here we have... What's that? Oh, dynamic hybrid graphics system. So you can switch between uh, the GeForce card and an onboard uh, graphic card from Intel. And you can set it to auto or you can just manually... Oh, wow. That's a fancy button. You see, you can switch it to auto, stamina or speed. And over here we have a couple of LEDs for num lock, caps lock, and I have no clue about this assist and these little buttons over here. But uh, let me just get a quick idea of, oh my god, this will take a while to get used to this keyboard. A fingerprint reader? That's, yeah, that's a fingerprint reader over here. A great trackpad, great surface. Um, Hmm, these are kind of hard to press, but still in general, I mean the whole build quality is just amazing. I can see on the angle of the lid, look how thin this is. And it's, it's just super light, it is really super light. You know what, let's, uh, let's see if we have, uh, just, if we just destroyed the battery. And let's see if we can so switch So finally, it we were just running out of juice. The battery wasn't uh, uh, charged at all. Um, I'm really interested in how fast it's going to boot up. Well, actually, I have to set up all the Windows stuff, right? And, but the, the display looks already pretty decent, I would say. <laughs> really cool device. Backlit keyboard. Yeah. Oh, it's exactly, it's a backlit keyboard. Absolutely. The question is, why can't I switch it on? Um, or maybe it's a kind of automatic switch. So if you're trying to use it uh, with the lights off in your room, it's automatically switching on the back of the keyboard. Could be. Yeah. And it's silent. It's just rebooting again. You can't hear anything. And here is Mr. Back keyboard. Woo! I think that's, that's, that's the ultimate showing off device right now. So maybe I'm not even putting a sticker on the lid. Maybe I do. I'm pretty sure that JKK will be all over me with his stickers on this one. And anyway, sir. Uh, Okie dokie. Here we go. Let's, 
Let's be very innovative with my username. And uh, I don't need a password. Of course, um, I don't have to read it anymore because uh, I know what they're telling you. Just selling my soul to Redmond. Okay, let's do this. Let's do that. Here we go. No. I don't want to see that. Please, no Sony promotion for me anymore. Bring me to the desktop. Oh my god, the resolution is just... Uh, what's that? Windows Live? I don't need Windows Live. I don't want to have anything. I don't want to have Internet Explorer 8. Stop it. <laughs> I don't need that. <laughs> oh my god, the display is just brilliant. I mean, 1920 by 1080. That's of course a quite some weird state on the screen for a 13.1 inch and I'm not sure if I'm... Whoa! That looks good. Holy shit, there's a bunch of software starting immediately. Um, but you know what I would like to do is uh, as soon as... Holy moly! What's going on here? Is this a, a kind of... Add some fancy Cupertino look-alike yeah. dog bar. I don't need all this. Can you say crapware? I, I can say crapware, absolutely. I just I just don't want all this. Um, maybe I'm going for a clean Windows installation ASAP just to get rid of all this. Uh, but anyways, you know what I would like to do is let's just make a restart and to see how long it takes to uh, to reboot. But that's that's a brilliant display, absolutely. And you see, again, somehow it's glossy. It's it's, it's in the middle of being glossy and matte, or matte. It just looks good. Very thin bezel. I think that's a 1.3 megapixel camera. And yeah, that's one sexy device. And I tell you what, Sony. If this is not surviving for at least two years, uh, from Taipei to Tokyo, I think the headquarters in Tokyo, it's just a 90 minutes flight. And I'm gonna do this for a two and a half thousand dollar device. And I'm gonna start a stampede right in front of the headquarter. Uh, I would say that's fast. That's pretty fast. Yep. That's what I like. Well, guys, I will definitely do some more benchmarking, some more reviewing on on the Sony Value uh, VPC Z12CEB. Now I got it. That I just bought from HomeofHardware.de over here in Germany, where we are, are at the EFA in Berlin. And yeah, goodbye, little Acer. You served me a year. Hello, Mr. Sony Value. Um, looking forward to work with this device. This is Sasha from NetbookNews.com. Thank you for watching this hilarious unboxing. <laughs> Thank you, Steve, for recording. <laughs> Pleasure.